Hmm, it's real thick. Happy, happy Tuesday and happy new month. Happy November. I hope that um, as it's the evening that you've had some time to kind of just digest the fact that we are literally in the last 60 days of 2022. I've definitely um, had a busy day today. However, I did... Um, as we just got our workout in, our first workout in of the month, feeling amazing, enjoying my post-recovery shake, um, I wanted to sit down and set my goals for the new month. Um, this is something that I do every single month at the beginning um, at the beginning of the month, obviously on the first day. It's really important to, to set those intentions and to to really get realigned and refocused right because the month is going to fly by so the longer you wait to to get into action and to setting those intentions the harder it's going to be to to really um make it happen so i wanted to share with you guys a few of tips that i have learned in my journey in the last seven years of really creating a healthy lifestyle and being disciplined but also um, how that has um, transcended into every area of my life and and why goal setting is so important but it's not just going to be you know goals in health and wellness um, it's goals in um, in business it's goals in your finances and your relationships and in your mindset right making sure that you're you are um, setting goals in every area of your life in what we call the wheel of life right so the wheel of life is all the areas in your life that make up your life and making sure that every month you when we end the month we reflect on those goals and what were the things that we were able to accomplish you know celebrating our wins um, but also acknowledging our efforts and then setting new intentions for the new month so I do this every month and so I wanted to share some really quick tips on what I consider um, smart goal setting and um, maybe you've heard this this um, before so smart each letter in the word smart represents um, something to focus on are you okay She's drinking her cold shake, so she's over here coughing. <laughs> um, okay, so so uh, tip number one is in the smart goal setting is to be specific, right? Be specific as to what it is that you want to accomplish. So, um, like I said, setting intentions and setting goals for it within your will of life, within your your um, life. What what are the areas that are important to you to work on, right? And so being super, super specific. So I break it down, not just on my wellness goals. Like I said, I break it down business goals. I break it down relationship goals, free time, um, family time, whatever that is for you, right? Be super specific because the more specific that you are, the more likely you are to make it happen. Okay. Um, the next one is make it meaningful. So why is the goal important to you? One of the things that I have found truly, truly, um, important and um almost like necessary is when you are setting goals for example with my clients i always ask them when they have a specific goal in mind for weight loss say like weight loss right and they say i want to lose 20 pounds i always follow up with a question as to why is it important for you to lose those 20 pounds like what what um how is it going to make you feel or why is it important always connecting that goal to an emotional um like making an emotional connection because that is also going to make it more likely for you to succeed in reaching those goals okay um the next one is is actionable so what um what are the steps that you're going to take to make it happen and having a plan there's it's so important to have a plan when it comes to to reaching your goals um because it's otherwise it's like working blindly you're just kind of guessing it's guesswork and if you're if you don't have a plan you're more likely to fail because life is going to happen there's always going to be circumstances that are going to to test you and so having an action plan is really important in in um in really making it happen right so what is your action plan to make those goals happen and like i said you're going to apply this to each one of your goals um the next one is to be realistic right be super realistic we have 60 days left in the year and 
we have a few holidays coming up so i believe in when it comes to goal setting you have to be realistic but you also have to be flexible like um setting your setting your goals like being realistic in a sense of like well am i you know going back to setting weight loss goals like when when people you know say i'm gonna lose i want to lose 50 pounds in two months well if you really understand how your body works in the process and you're trying to do it in a healthy manner um it's about consistency and discipline and it may you know that may not be possible because you can't control how your body transforms so you have to be realistic in setting those goals and you also have to maintain flexibility because like i said life's gonna happen you have to be ready for whatever life throws your way right um and not letting that derail you when when um something happens or something comes up and then lastly is um to um set a time or or i guess being timely right um, by when do you want to achieve these goals? Like setting a time frame for yourself. And when it comes to this part of it, um, because I, I don't, like I said, I don't believe in too much in, in, as far as the time frame, what I mean by this is being realistic with what your goals are. What is the amount of time that you're going to need is going to be required of you to make it happen, right? So by when do you want to achieve this? So one of the things that I have found helpful is that when you are when you are really trying to make change, or you're really trying to have true transformation is um, when you're setting realistic goals. Right. You have to keep in mind what what your time frame is. So, for example, I wouldn't set if we have 60 days left of the year. Right. Am I am I really going to go for the big end goal or am I going to set smaller goals? right that's more of the intention setting smaller goals that are going to that are going to add up to that big end goal but that I'm going to be able to accomplish in the time that I have um because being able to hit those little small um milestones on the way to the big end goal is not only going to help me feel um accomplished it's going to inspire and motivate me to keep going towards that big goal so being super realistic with the time frame that you have um when I started my journey I never, I never was intentional with my um, results, like the exact number of, of pounds that I wanted to lose. I just knew that I wanted to get healthy. And had it, had I known what I know now, um, I don't think that I would have ever have told myself like, oh, I'm going to lose over 100 pounds and I'm going to do it in this much time. Like you have to be realistic, right? Um, and when it comes to, to like weight loss, realistically, most people will lose one to two pounds a week, right? Give or take if you're working out, if there's just so many different factors. So you have to be super realistic, but also make sure that you are um, intentional with the time that you're giving yourself to, to hit these goals. Because if you don't set a time frame, that also is going to not help you in the process. It's going to it's gonna allow you to kind of be like, well, you know, slack off a little bit in a sense, right? Because I've, I've been there. So um, I wanted to share those because as we are starting a new month, it's, it's, um, it's a season of transformation. And I keep saying that because it's absolutely true when you are consistent in these these winter months this is what's going to build a lifestyle for you this is what's going to build consistency and discipline in all areas of your life and um especially as we're going into the holidays like one of the things that that i have heard time and time again it's like from clients or from you know potential clients is i'll start in january i'll start in the new year but understand that by already having that mentality you're already failing at what it is that you want to accomplish because you're already telling yourself you're restricting yourself you're telling yourself that you're not capable because you're not capable in these months and you know to that i will say we are starting a new 21 day challenge that starts on monday and what I love about this is my favorite season of 21 day challenges because this is the moment where we are really focusing on creating healthy habits, um, creating disciplines and to show you that it's possible to do that even in these holiday months. Because let me tell you, the holidays, it's not the whole month, just like we just had Halloween yesterday. I mean, we celebrated all month, but the holiday itself is a day. Thanksgiving 
it's Thanksgiving Day and the day after Thanksgiving, right? In November. Um, in December, it's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. In January, it's New Year's, well, December still, right? New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So it's not really the whole month. And what I have learned is that if you're able to build consistency in these months, leading up to the holidays, you're less likely to fall off track. You're less likely to de be derailed um, from your goals and you're more likely to be successful in reaching those summer goals. Because if you have summer goals, right, um, that starts right now. Summer bodies are built in the winter. I've heard this a million, million times, but it's absolutely true. It's what you're doing right now. So this upcoming challenge, I'm super excited because that's literally what we're doing is we are focusing on consistency to teach her clients that come the holidays, it's okay to indulge. It's okay to have, you're, you're supposed to have balance. And that is part of creating a healthy lifestyle. You're supposed to be able to, to um, have both, right? To enjoy the things that you do, that you do love, those foods that you love. It's just about creating balance and knowing your, knowing how to set boundaries, knowing how to set healthy boundaries, knowing how to, to truly create balance in your nutrition. And that's what I have found to be super effective in my journey and, and why um, when I started incorporating my Herbalife Nutrition, the holidays were not even a struggle for me anymore because I learned how to have balance, right? And that's what we're gonna be, um, that's what we're gonna be sharing with, with our 21 Day Challengers during this challenge is how to create balance. And then obviously using our incredible are incredible supplements that help support that. There's just so many amazing products that we have in our Herbalife catalog that help support, you know, um, healthy balance, that help support um, enjoying indulges, indulgences during the holiday season. And that is, that's the intention of this upcoming 21 day challenge, right? Is really preparing, uh, preparing for discipline and consistency to allow ourselves and not feel guilty and most importantly continue to get results even while indulging during the holiday season so that's what this next 21 day challenge is going to be all about i'd love for you to join me let me know if you have any questions i hope that these um tips are helpful for you in setting those goals and those intentions for the new month um and it's going to be a powerful month and as long as you allow yourself to be in that mindset of I can make small changes and small disciplines every day that are gonna help me reach that end goal, then that is absolutely possible. You have to just have the mindset. And what I've learned is it's consistency in that as well and allowing yourself to believe that, having that self-belief, that's really what's gonna help you accomplish all of your goals. So um, happy, happy Tuesday, happy November 1st. I hope you have had an incredible day. And if you haven't already, take a moment today, tonight, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever time you have to sit down and write down your goals. There's such a power in writing down your goals and your intention. It's like you're almost affirming it to the universe as to what it is that you want. Um, and I know we live in a digital era and you can set something on your phone, but there's nothing like writing it in your like agenda. There's nothing like writing it down in a, in a notebook somewhere where you're writing it down. It's the simple action of writing it down that can truly inspire you to be, um, to be in action. So happy Tuesday. Have a wonderful night.